Thank you for tuning in to your Daily Wallops weather briefing for Tuesday, March 2nd. We saw a low of 33 degrees this morning across the Wallops region with a quarter inch of rain over the past 24 hours. We are seeing mostly sunny skies out there this morning. We are going to be in an extended dry period now for at least it looks like the next um, 8 to 10 days at least. And uh, going to be seeing some chilly temperatures today and then a more seasonable day temperature-wise tomorrow. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the region, we do have some the high pressure building into the mid-Atlantic region that uh, did tighten up the pressure gradient a little bit this morning just as it was uh, building in more and helped to give us some isolated wind gusts to 25 knots. But those winds have been relaxing and we are under a wind advisory currently as of uh, 9.45 a.m. but it does look like we'll be able to cancel that very shortly. And we are going to be seeing wind slowly weaken throughout the day today as high pressure continues to build into the mid-Atlantic region and then expecting some fairly calm winds tonight and light winds tomorrow as well as high pressure remains in control. Taking a look at our satellite loop across the region, seeing mostly sunny skies across the area, really only seeing some upper-level cirrus um, down towards uh, North Carolina. And it does look like the cirrus is going to remain down there throughout uh, the rest of today and into tonight and then maybe seeing a little bit more of a northern extent of that series as we go into the mid-morning areas of tomorrow but still expecting just uh, partly cloudy skies for tomorrow as well. Taking a brief look at our upper level winds this morning we do have uh, northwesterly winds pretty much through the entire column today. Uh, wind just above the surface, 26 knots, and then around 45 knots from 3 to 6,000 feet, increasing uh, between 50 to 60 knots from 9 to 12,000 feet, and then maxing out just above 100 knots at the 20 to 25,000 foot level. Did see a freezing level this morning just above the surface at around 400 feet. Taking a look at our forecast for today, going to be a little bit chilly out there, running around 10 degrees below average for this time of year, going to be seeing a high of 42 degrees this afternoon. Northwest the winds are going to slowly decrease, becoming 8 to 13 knots by lunchtime, and then weakening to uh, 5 to 10 knots from the west after about 4 p.m. And then after sunset, we're going to see those winds fairly light and variable. After midnight, becoming uh, southwesterly at 3 to 8 knots, then slowly increasing to 5 to 10 knots by mid-morning tomorrow. We are expecting a midnight low tonight of around 30 degrees with temperatures uh, then increasing a couple degrees after that until we get into the mid-morning on Wednesday. And we're going to be seeing a little bit more of a seasonable day tomorrow like I had mentioned. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, uh, not much to talk about today. Going to be seeing uh, mostly clear skies, maybe a couple um, very isolated clouds near 3,500 feet and then that serious cloudiness well to the south. And then by mid-morning tomorrow, we're going to be seeing a scattered serious deck at 25,000 feet. We are seeing tides normal along the Delmarva Atlantic coast this morning. Let's take a look at our long-range weather model uh, to show you how the weather pattern is going to progress. Not too much uh, to talk about. Like I said, we're going to be running into a extended dry period here. We'll see that high pressure settle over the area tomorrow. We will see a low uh, move across the southeast uh, impacting the Carolinas, mainly South Carolina, as we go into tomorrow, but not really going to see any impact at all except for uh, that scattered cirrus deck tomorrow for our area. As we go into Thursday, uh, high pressure will be remaining in control, uh, seeing the main high settled across the uh, Great Lakes there, and that's going to help to bring in a little bit more of a chillier air mass, perhaps a um, slightly breezy through for the afternoon on Thursday. Friday, still seeing high pressure and control across the region with a chillier air mass uh, locked into place as we go into the weekend. Um, not really going to be seeing any weather um, to mention here as high pressure remains in control. Uh, just maybe seeing some chilly temperatures continue through Sunday uh, into perhaps Monday. And then uh, we'll see that high pressure shift from uh, being north of the region and then it will start to build across the southeast. And that will help to give us uh, some much more milder temperatures to start our week next week. So taking a look at our seven-day forecast, um, mostly sunny for Tuesday. Forgive that 100% uh, there. That should not be there. Um, we got partly cloudy skies for tomorrow with a high of 54. Thursday is going to be a high of 51 degrees, a low of 35. And then Friday, uh, 45 degrees, a low of 27 under mostly sunny skies. And then we'll see those mid-40s Friday through Sunday uh, with those chilly morning lows into the mid to upper 20s. And then Monday starting to see things moderate a bit with a high of 50 degrees. That will do it for your daily weather briefing. Have a great day.